The following program is sponsored by CBN. Well, welcome to the 700 Club. Sports doctor Larry Nassar has been sentenced to between 40 and 175 years in prison for sexually abusing young women, including Olympic gymnasts. Even so, his case for, is far from over. The president of the university where he worked has resigned in the wake of the sex scandal. And at Nassar's hearing, one of his victims spoke of God's judgment and his forgiveness through the gospel. Gary Lane brings us the story. The resignation of Michigan State University President Luanna Simon came within hours of the sentencing of convicted sexual predator Dr. Larry Nassar. Sir, I'm giving you 175 years. I've just signed your death warrant. Nasser sexually molested more than 150 girls and women over the past two decades. Some were athletes he trained for the Olympics while working at MSU and USA Gymnastics. Among those abused, Olympic champion Simone Biles, Gabby Douglas, and others like U.S. Olympics gymnast Ali Reisman, who testified against Nasser in court. I can't even comprehend how angry I feel when I think of you. Other Nasser abuse victims said they were glad that justice had been served. At first I was really afraid to speak about it and like even let anyone know that this has happened to me, but now I know I'm a survivor. Rachel Den Hollander was the first victim to speak out against Nasser. And at the hearing she said the Bible spoke of God's wrath during the final judgment and also his mercy. Should you ever reach the point of truly facing what you have done, the guilt will be crushing. And that is what makes the gospel of Christ so sweet. Because it extends grace and hope and mercy where none should be found. And it will be there for you. I pray you experience the soul crushing weight of guilt so that you may someday experience true repentance and true forgiveness from God, which you need far more than forgiveness from me, though I extend that to you as well. People in East Lansing and throughout the state of Michigan called on MSU President Simon to resign because the university hadn't properly looked into allegations of sexual abuse by Nasser over the years. And she wasn't the only one to submit her resignation Wednesday. Faculty athletic rep at MSU, Professor Sue Carter, also resigned. I came to this decision, not easily, when I realized that we were not expressing the kind of compassion that needs to be shown to the victims of Larry Nasser. This horrid nightmare is far from over. As the Winter Olympics are set to begin in South Korea, the U.S. Olympics Committee may likely act to decertify USA Gymnastics. And 100 Nasser abuse survivors are taking both MSU and USA Gymnastics to court to sue for damages. Gary Lane, CBN News. Well, on this one, what an incredible tragedy. And you look at it and go, are there any number of years in a sentence uh, that brings justice to this situation? Uh, and, and you just shake your head and go, no, there, there, there's no punishment uh, for this kind of horror. Uh, but in the aftermath, let's pay attention to these victims. Let's make sure that we resolve. We will listen. Uh, we will pay attention and we will respond to make sure this never happens again. In other news, it looks like we won't have another government shutdown in Washington. Charlene Aaron has that story from our CBN newsroom, Charlene. That's right, Gordon. White House Budget Director Mick Mulvaney tells CBN's Faith Nation that chances are fairly high that there will be a spending bill to fund the government before it's set to shut down again on February 8th. Mulvaney was a guest this week on CBN's Faith Nation. Co-hosts Jenna Browder and David Brody asked the budget director to weigh in on the chances of reaching a spending deal. Fairly high. I think my Democrat friends uh, learned a bitter lesson um, over the weekend that a government shutdown doesn't help them politically and that uh, sort of taking hostages over DACA is not going to help them further other discussions. So I think the chances of passing a spending bill are fairly good. Mulvaney also told Faith Nation that while a spending bill should happen, a bipartisan deal on immigration doesn't seem likely by February 8th. You can watch the full Faith Nation interview on CBNNews.com. 
Some news stories might make you think religion is on the decline in America, but that's not so. According to a recent study from Harvard and Indiana University, it found that evangelical Christianity remains strong. Evangelicals made up 18% of the population in 1972, and that number grew to a consistent 28% from 1989 to 2016. But the number of mainline Protestants has fallen sharply, down from 35% in 1972 to just 12% in 2016. And there has been a dramatic increase in those with no religious affiliation. But overall, the survey said American religion remains persistently and exceptionally intense. Gordon? Well, Christianity has always been a backbone of the United States, going back to the Great Awakening uh, of 1735 that led to the American Revolution, uh, where they declared no king but Jesus. And then the Second Great Awakening uh, prior to the Civil War, which uh, dramatically increased uh, the number of Christians in America. Uh, so it's no surprise we're seeing a rise in evangelical uh, Christianity. The surprise is the uh, in this survey is the increase in what we call the nuns, uh, the ones that have no, no religion at all, don't go to any services, uh, spend their Sundays at home. And that is something uh, that as Christians, we need to say, how can we reach them? How can we bring them into the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ? We'll be back with more of the 700 Club right after this. Well, Randy and Karen lived a lavish lifestyle for the first two years of their marriage. If they wanted to go somewhere or buy something, they simply said, charge it, using one of their 20 credit cards. Well, before long, they were tens of thousands of dollars in the red, but six years later, their debts were paid off, and here's how they did it. Randy and Karen Parler worked hard to build their careers and live debt-free but they say it was applying God's principles about finances and giving that made all the difference. He has blessed us beyond what we could ever thought of. But as career-driven newlyweds, Randy and Karen had very different attitudes about money and success. I wanted the same things I saw other people around me, you know, wanting or and, and getting. It was normal, you know, the American dream. In the first two years they were married, they lived a life filled with parties, travel, and lavish spending all on credit. I say I had probably about 20 cars, and that was a way to get the things that I wanted. It was so easy, you know, you pulled it out, charged it. Before long, they had $63,000 in credit card debt, two large car loans, and a hefty monthly mortgage. We were in that, you know, big debt bondage. It is very enticing, and we fell into that trap. But the decision to change their direction came a year later. Randy's brother died unexpectedly, leading Randy to take a deeper look at how he was living. I knew at that moment that I needed to give my life to the Lord. Randy began to search the Bible, and he found that God had a lot to say about how to live and how to handle money. I felt the Lord's strong impression, and he said, you should start tithing. Randy was eager to learn more about God's financial principles. He found many of the answers watching the 700 Club. As Pat taught, the things that he talked about, the law of reciprocity, he talked about budgeting. Randy designed a strict budget that included tithing, paying off debt, and getting rid of credit cards. But Karen wasn't ready to give up her plastic. I can't live like that. Are you kidding me? I get paid once a month, and you want me to go the whole month? on this amount of money? Soon, Karen accepted Christ too. She also got on board with Randy's plan to use God's principles for their money. We decided to get out of debt because one, that is not God's plan for us. We're not gonna be slaves to the lender. At first, Randy wasn't sure how they could keep up with bills, pay off their debt, and tithe. When 10 plus percent is not already included in what you do. Yes, it's a radical change. But after several months, the couple was amazed by their bottom line. And I can't say that I know exactly how we didn't miss something because on paper, it looked as if we just wouldn't be able to pay everything. After six years of diligently following God's principles, 
They paid off their $63,000 in debt and then their mortgage. Where you can see God, you know, really working. We had paid everything off. Our income has probably tripled. Being out of debt, we have peace. We can help others. That's why in 2004, they started giving to CBN at the Thousand Club level. You know, they were doing things in a lot of areas that digging wells, you know, providing medical attention, establishing homes for orphans. We want to see the work that CBN does. That's why we give. They know success isn't about what they have. It's about what they give. And ask God to implant a desire in your heart to give more than to have stuff. And, and to know in your heart that God will take care of all your need according to his riches and glory. You know, that's all you have to do is to be faithful in what he asked you to do. Blessings will come. He will give you the desires of your heart. Randy and Karen have really unlocked one of the secrets. Uh, Jesus kept talking about storing up treasures in heaven. And how do you do that? And, and I love what Randy just said, that ask God to put a desire in your heart, a desire to give more than to have possessions. That's how you have stores in heaven, store up treasure in heaven. Here's a promise for you. It's from Malachi chapter 3. Bring all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house. And prove me now in this, says the Lord of hosts, if I will not open for you the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing, that there will not be room enough to receive it. You saw what happened to Randy and Karen. Yes, they needed a budget. Yes, they needed to get away from consumer debt, credit card debt. Yes, they needed to do that, but the principle of bring all the tithes into the storehouse, they prove God, they tested him. It's the only time we get to test him is with our tithes and offerings. They proved him in that, and you see the results. If you follow these principles, you'll get the same result. Well, John Richards is a master hairstylist, and his clients come from all parts of the world. But John still remembers the days when he lost his first salon, and was soon $52,000 in debt. With no relief in sight, he prayed for a miracle. John Richards has been a hairstylist for more than 30 years. In the late 90s, he owned a successful salon, but he made an honest yet costly mistake. The IRS reclassified all of his stylists as employees and then demanded back taxes on their wages. When the stylists could no longer be independent contractors, they all left. They walked out on me. I had this huge rent, it was $2,200 a month, and they left me, I was like left alone. John lost his business. That's when he started using credit cards to pay his bills and household expenses. By 2002, John and his wife Lynette were $52,000 in debt. At that point, it was the lowest we had been. And, and I always knew God always takes care of us, so I, I, I always had that assurance but it was tough. John and Lynette had been CBN partners since 1983. Even though money was tight, they kept giving to the 700 Club. That was one thing that Lynette really wanted to make sure we kept doing. Keep tithing, we have to honor God. We have to honor God no matter what. And in 2002, I started asking God for a financial miracle. And so I, every day, every morning I prayed, God, I need a miracle, God, I need a miracle. One afternoon while watching the 700 Club, John and Lynette joined Pat and Gordon as they prayed. And Pat got done praying and nothing happened. And I just kind of shrugged my shoulders and I looked down and went, okay, Lord, I'm... And then something really interesting happened. There's four seconds left of the program and Gordon said, excuse me, Dad. There's someone named John and you're praying for a financial miracle. God's heard your prayer. He's going to give you that. What? And I, I looked at my wife and said, what did he just say? Because the show was over. And I was a little hesitant, but he, God proves himself time and time again. Several months later, their financial miracle began to unfold. John went by his old salon and noticed that it was still empty. He immediately called his former landlord. So he came back with this number of, uh, of a less than a third what I was paying for before. I said, Cliff, just check that out. That seemed to be too good to be true. So he called me the next day and goes, well, it's, it's not right. It's $600 a month. I said, I'll take it. So that was the beginning of my financial miracle. The first two years, I doubled what I took in the year before. And in 2005, we paid off all of our debt. And in 2006, 
my business really started taking off. One year, I believe it was 2007, I took on just shy of $400,000 in my business. Then in 2008, the stock market took a dive. Most of John's clients paid top dollar for hair extensions, but when the economy tanked, many of them disappeared, and he was facing the possibility of losing his salon again. We need another moment, we need another miracle. So we prayed, and that's when we decided to jump to a founder's club. It's like, Lord, your word says to give, and the measure that you give is the measure you'll be receiving. So we did that. The next day, we jumped to a founder's club. My business started doing better, but something really amazing happened in 2012. It was February <clears throat> that this girl showed up. Her name is Becky, and she wanted extensions, but nobody could do her hair. I'm one of two people that can do hair extensions after chemo on one inch of hair. And this is so God that God would do something like this. Only God could do I never saw this coming. A local news station covered Becky's transformation. It was posted on YouTube and Facebook. And that thing went viral. I have people coming in from Peru, Belgium, Australia, Philippines. John is already booking appointments for next year, and he and Lynette continue to support the ministries of CBN. It's not that God needs our money. It's because we're obedient to his word. And out of sacrifice, God uses that. And so we are to help others, and we are to give selflessly, and it's a joy to give. You want to go on a ride of a lifetime? Give. I can't explain it. I don't know how he does it, but it's God's, it's God's rule. Given it shall be given to you. Here is the rule. We call it the law of reciprocity. These are the words of Jesus from Luke chapter 6. Give, and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, will be poured into your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. And John took that seriously. And he put it into practice. And he said, this is the principle that Jesus has laid down. I'm going to follow that principle. I'm going to obey it. And you saw the result. Absolutely incredible. He was able to get business from all over the world because he took the words of Jesus to heart and he says, I'm going to live by them. You can do the same thing. All you have to do is follow that principle and you'll see the same result. Now I've got some wonderful news from existing CBN partners from across the country. We've got them from Tennessee, Wisconsin, Nebraska and North Dakota all saying we want to challenge others to give. We want to match their giving dollar for dollar, $150,000. And let's pray. Lord, we just ask for a blessing for the partners who made it possible to issue this challenge. And we just know your word over them will be true. As they have given the measure that they have given, it will be measured back to, back to them. And we ask for that 30, 60, 100-fold increase that comes from you. Do it, Lord. And now for those who are watching, bless and encourage them, for we ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. $150,000 is the challenge amount. Uh, 38 minutes, 52 seconds is on the clock. What are we asking you? We're asking you to join the 700 Club. Take that first step in that adventure of giving to say, yes, I'll join. How much is it? It's just $20 a month, 65 cents a day. Some can join at 700 Club Gold, which is $40 a month. 1,000 Club is $1,000 a year, and that breaks out to $84 a month. At whatever level, join us now, 1-800-700-7000. Terry? Well, when you do call, we've got something special for you. When you join the 700 Club, we're going to send you Pat Robertson's latest DVD. It's called Answered Prayer. And in it, you'll see stories of how prayer saved lives. You'll also learn how you can unlock its power. Prayer is a communication with God. It's a powerful exchange between God and man. We're going to answer many of your questions in Answered Prayer, How to Pray Effectively and See God Work in Your Life. In Pat Robertson's latest DVD, Answered Prayer, you'll learn the biblical principles of prayer and how to get your prayers answered and hear miraculous stories of answers to prayer from Pat's own faith-filled journey.
we share some of the lessons that I've learned along the way. Plus, you'll see dramatic true stories of life-changing answers to prayer. God proves himself time and time again. He's in the room with us, answering people's prayers. I think I survived because God has a bigger plan for my life. The doctor was just like, I've never seen anything like this before. And he hears your prayers. I never saw this coming. Every great work of God is preceded by prayer. Answered Prayer, how to pray effectively and see God work in your life. Call now or go to cbn.com. Answered Prayer, this is our gift to you when you call and join the 700 Club now at any level. So call our toll-free number, 1-800-700-7000. We'll get it out to you right away. Gordon? For 10 years, John had been living the good life. He had a great job, money in the bank, and a secure future. Then within four months, he lost his job, and he was diagnosed with cancer. John Breithaupt lives in the Pacific Northwest, where he surveys land and negotiates timber contracts. For a decade, he was the picture of success. I had a six-figure job with a car and a company credit card and a 401k and a retirement plan. I had a 36-foot boat that I could moored at the marina 10 minutes from my house. Then in 2008, the market crashed. John lost his job and his medical benefits. Around the same time, he was also diagnosed with cancer. This one's always tough to talk about. You know, what do you do when your doctor says you have a tumor, you need radiation, you need chemotherapy, you, you do it. Over the next few years, John sold his assets, exhausted his savings, and cashed in his 401k in an effort to make ends meet and pay his medical bills. At times they went to collection, so it hurt my credit. I was going to be without anything. Losing my car, losing my insurance, losing my cell phone, it's not a good feeling. Sporadic work and multiple tumors followed. Then at 52, John moved home with his mother. That's tough for a man to do, to ask for help, say I can't do it. Pretty tough for a self-sustaining man. Um, is sort of an all-time low. That's when I turned back to God. I said, okay, God, I'll, I'll trust in you. You help me get out of these circumstances. John had just under $300 when he says his prayer was answered. He was watching the 700 Club. Terry talked about giving $20, and, and, and I've always been touched by the stories that the 700 Club do. And the thought that went through my head was, What's $20? I, I think the Holy Spirit just prompted me to give that. And I'd never given to a, a TV ministry before. John called CBN and pledged $20 a month. Within two weeks, he had four clients and was back in the timber consulting business, working as an independent contractor. The light went off on my head. I thought the only thing that has changed between now and then is that I started giving to the 700 Club. and. It brought tears to my eyes and I stopped and I pulled over and I called the 700 Club and I said, I want to raise my gift from 20 to 100. John also started tithing to his church. Now he has consistent work, a flexible schedule, and he's able to pay all his medical bills. My finances have recovered. I have more consulting work than I know what to do with right now. I'm able to put back into savings, put back into my 401k. I don't think there's any way that that could be a, a coincidence. John challenges others who need a financial turnaround to start giving to CBN. It's a great ministry. It's a great ministry. You say, look, we're tight. We can't squeeze another $100 out. Then give 50, give 40, give $20. I don't believe in giving to get. That's not my motivation, but I gave a little bit and God blessed a lot. Here's the principle, it's from Psalm 50. Call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you and you shall glorify me. And John called upon the day of, uh, on the Lord in his day of trouble. And God showed him some very simple principles to follow. He said, yes, I'll put that into action. You see the result and that can happen for you if you just follow the same principle. If you'd like to do that, give us a call, 1-800-700-7000. Say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. When you call, make sure you ask for Pledge Express. That's electronic monthly giving where the bank does all the work. There are no checks to write, and we send as our gift to you 
Power for Life monthly teaching CDs. So if you'd like those, ask for Pledge Express when you call. Let's go to Wendy at the phones. Wendy? All right, thanks, Gordon. Well, let me ask you, are you desperate for an answer to prayer in your life? Are you facing a crisis that only a miracle can cure? Well, in this new DVD from Pat Robertson, you'll see how to pray with power and authority. Plus, Pat talks about his personal experience with the miracle working power of prayer. Watch. My oldest son, who was just a little fella, he was burning with fever and he was beginning convulsions. And I thought, you know, if he keeps that up, he's going to have brain damage. So I was on my knees and I was just crying out to God, God, please heal him, please heal him, please heal him, please, please heal him. And he said, look, you think you love this boy. I love him a thousand times more than you do. Mm. And you don't have to talk me into doing something good for him. I'll do something good for him. So instead of holding on to my problem, I released that problem to the Lord. At that moment, the love of God just enfolded him and he was, the power of God touched him and the fever broke just like that. Experience miraculous stories like this in Answered Prayer. Pat Robertson's latest teaching uncovers the keys to help you get results, break down barriers, and build dynamic faith to receive your Answered Prayer. Available now. I love that. You don't have to talk God into doing something good for you. He is a good, good father. He loves you. He loves your children. He hears you and he always answers a desperate prayer. Well, if you want to encourage your prayer life in 2018, and I know you do, we have just what you need. It's called Answered Prayer. How to pray with power and authority and see your prayers answered like never before. This is our gift to you when you give us a call right now and just say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. How much is that? Great question. Glad you asked. Just 65 Five cents a day. Yep, not kidding. 65 cents a day. $20 a month is all it takes to become a CBM partner and to do so much with so little. But if you're already there at $20 a month, thank you. You are making a big difference. If you'd like to take it up to our gold level, though, and make a bigger difference, I want you to do that. Go to your phones right now and say, yes, I want to take it up to gold. That's just $40 a month. When you do that, we want to bless you back with three DVDs, one for you and two to give away. If you can go higher, hey, a lot of us can. Let's take it up to 1000 Club, $84 a month or higher. We're going to give you five of Pat's dynamic new teaching called Answered Prayer. We are in the middle of a $150,000 challenge right now with 30 minutes left on the clock. That means every dollar that you pledge right now will be, will be matched dollar for dollar. So it's a great deal. It's a great time to go to your phones. And when you do, remember, you're going to get this. Terry? Thanks, Wendy. Well, in the Philippines, one mom gave birth to triplets at a time when she could barely afford to feed the rest of her family. Before long, this family's story went viral on social media. And when Orphans Promise saw it, we did more than just share that video. We set up a program that helped save their lives and keep them all together. Irene has her hands full with her triplets, all boys. Her biggest challenge is feeding them, along with her three older daughters. There are days when we don't have enough food and the triplets run out of milk. I would give them rice water to ease their hunger. Sometimes I don't get to eat anymore because I would give them my share. Irene didn't know she was carrying triplets until the day they were born. The couple was too poor to afford prenatal care. Some people have offered to adopt one of the triplets. How can we separate them? Ray worked hard as a farm laborer. And after the harvest season, he looked for work in construction. But the sporadic jobs only generated about $5 a day. The triplets, Andrew, Brian, and Christian, became severely malnourished and got sick. One time, the boys all had fever and cough at the same time. They had difficulty breathing and were gasping for air. I panicked and rushed them to the doctor. I asked God to send help for my triplets. Then one day, Irene met Pastor Val. Hoping to help them, he took this video of the children and posted it online. It went viral. That's how CBN's Orphan's Promise connected with Pastor Val, who helped us deliver emergency milk, diapers, and clothing for the children. Then we started providing food for the triplets and their sisters. Now they all receive a healthy meal each day. Sometimes I cry tears of joy when I watch them eat. They've gained weight and don't get sick anymore. 
Finally, Orphan's Promise helped Irene set up a business making dishwashing detergent, which is generating extra income for the family. If it wasn't for you, my children would have starved. Thank you, Orphan's Promise. I'm grateful for these blessings from God. You know, the wonderful thing about this story is your help was multi-layered. Number one, you saved those children as far as their health and their nutrition and their thriving was concerned. But you also kept that family together. You know how many kids are in orphanages because of poverty? On top of that, you allowed us to give dignity to that mom by helping her establish a business of her own that makes her self-sufficient. You met every need of that little family, 700 Club members, and we say thank you. Listen, we need you to call right now. We're in the middle of this challenge. It's a great time for you to call because when you do, everything you give will be matched dollar for dollar. So whether it's a general membership, 65 cents a day, $20 a month, or you decide to go up a level to 700 Club Gold, if you're already there, consider the 1,000 Club. There you see it, $84 a month. You could join the 2,500 Club at $209 a month or become a founder. That's $5,000 a year. It works out to $400. $17 a month. Some people join us at the chairman circle level, gifts of $10,000 or more a year. It's when we all link arms together that we reach out and touch the world in a powerful way. So call now, 1-800-700-7000. Gordon? Well, in the mountains of Honduras, a girl named Dania used to have nightmares about dying. And it's no surprise why. On several occasions, she felt deathly ill because she was forced to drink murky water filled with bacteria. When 10-year-old Dania gets really thirsty, she thinks twice before drinking the water at home or at school. I ended up drinking it. I couldn't resist. Dania lives with her family in the mountains of Honduras. They collect water from small pools and streams for daily use. But these pools quickly become stagnant and filled with bacteria. Many days I have to leave school because I get sick after drinking the water. When Operation Blessing tested the water here, we discovered high concentrations of E. coli and other bacteria. One time I was sick for five days. I dreamed that I died because of the water. When I woke up, I prayed that I wouldn't die. Working with the local government, Operation Blessing identified a new source of fresh water higher in the mountains. First, we constructed a small dam to collect the water there. Then, we built a 10,000-gallon tank and piped water from the new reservoir. Finally, we purified the water and delivered it to homes and to Dania's school. From that point on, none of the children have gotten sick from drinking the water. Thank you, Operation Blessing. Now I know that I'm not going to die from drinking the water because you gave us everything we needed to have clean water. Bringing clean water, not just a one water well, but all water system for a village. And just imagine growing up with that kind of dirty water, being afraid to drink it. And then imagine what it would be like to have fresh, clean water on a regular basis piped right to where you are. Well, if you're a member of the 700 Club, you're part of that. You're part of that whole transformation if you're not a member, join with us. Join in everything we're doing around the world. Call us now, 1-800-700-7000. We've got a $150,000 challenge. We get the red number up. We're more than halfway now, 74,000 left with 23 minutes on the clock. Call us now. When you call, ask for Pledge Express. That's electronic monthly giving. The bank does all the work. We send as our gift to you, Power for Life monthly teaching CDs. So if you'd like those, ask for Pledge Express when you call and be a part of it. 1-800-700-7000 or go to cbn.com slash give. Let's go to Wendy at the phones. Wendy? Thanks, Gordon. Well, all of us want answers to our prayers, right? But have you ever thought that the words that you speak could be hindering those very prayers? Take a look at this segment from Pat Robertson's latest DVD called Answered Prayer. Can I hinder prayer by making negative statements? Absolutely. Uh, you know, the, the Bible makes it clear is that a man shall eat good by the fruit of his lips. You, your confession is absolutely vital. You confess failure, you'll have failure. You confess sickness, you'll have sickness. So when we praise God, it isn't so much asking God. That's the, the secret that people need to recognize. 
is if you want to have an answer to prayer, you declare it done in the name of Jesus. I love that. Pat just gave us the secret to answered prayer. He says, you ask, sure, but then you declare it done in the name of Jesus. And the Bible backs that up. The Bible says there's power. The power of life and death is in the tongue and you will have the fruit of your lips. So make this year, 2018, the year of answered prayer and declare it done in Jesus' name. We want to share some miraculous stories with you that are on here, how to pray with power and authority and, and so much more and make 2018 the year of answered prayer for you. How do you get this? Great question. Just go to your phones and say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. 65 cents a day, $20 a month is all it takes to become a CBM partner. The number on your screen, 1-800-700-7000. Our beautiful counselors are standing by right now to take your call and to pray with you. You can also log on to CBN.com. That is another great way to give. Now, a lot of you are already partners, and I just want to say thanks. You're making a huge difference around the world, but if you would like to make a bigger difference, and who wouldn't, let's go to our phones right now and say, yes, I want to take it up to the gold level, just $40 a month. When you do that, we want to bless you back with three of Pat's new teaching one for you and two to give away. If you can go higher, a lot of us can. Let's take it up to our 1,000 Club level, $84 a month or higher. Guess what? We really, we really want to bless you. We're going to give you five of this answer prayer, one for you and four to give away. We're still in the middle of our $150,000 challenge with 21 minutes left on the clock now, and we need to bring that red number down. That means you need to go to your phones and say yes. Gordon? Well, Albert Kim is a cardiologist with a big heart. He's dedicated his life to helping others. He's even done so during a time when his wife was out of a job and he wasn't drawing a salary. Albert Kim loves serving people through his career as an interventional cardiologist. I give a lot of myself to other people. And it's just my personality. And I think that's also why what led to also my profession. In 2004, he and his wife, Sarah, felt God leading him to open his own solo practice. The venture required expensive equipment, so for the first six months, Albert didn't collect a salary. I took money out of savings, took out some loans uh, through some banks. It was really tight financially. At that same time, Sarah left her job after giving birth to their son. Living off what they had in savings, the Kims trusted God to provide. Even during this time, they continue to look for ways to help those less fortunate. I have friends that are missionaries in other countries, and I just feel that if we can help them, even in our difficulty too, why not? The Kims say God blessed Albert's practice because within just six months, it began to turn a profit. And that just kept growing. So then I was able to buy more equipment. Uh, I was able to, to be able to offer more services to my patients. I was able to hire more staff and, and, and just kept growing. Today, Albert has over a thousand patients. Oh, it's just God's blessing one after the other. It, it's just, there's, there's no way this would have happened without, without God. The Kims haven't stopped helping those less fortunate, which is why they partner with CBN. I love the updates on what Operation Blessing is doing. I love the stories of the testimonies of healing and God's provision of people coming to Christ. I love everything about it. Like if I give to CBN, I know it's going to be used wisely and, and it's going to be used for good works. The little that we're faithful in giving to him, he blesses us back in abundance. And he will bless you in abundance if you follow the same principle. Now, I've got some wonderful news. Some partners want to add 124,000 to the challenge. That'll take us to 274,000. And let's pray. Lord, for the partners who made it possible to increase this challenge, increase, increase for them. 30, 60, 100 fold increase, Lord God. And for those who are watching, making decisions, speak to them, bless them. For we ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. 274,000 is the challenge. Uh, let's get the red number up. 141,000 with 18 minutes and 10 seconds. Call us now, 1-800-700-7000. Terry? Well, as a Marine in combat, Ned is trained to handle tough situations. And while he's overseas, his wife faces a different kind of challenge at home, figuring out how to pay the bills.
In the midst of war, Marine communication specialist Ned's job is to capture footage and photos of combat where civilian reporters are not allowed to go. As a Christian, he believes God has saved him in battle. I have stepped on a bomb that did not go off. The only reason I must be here is because God had plans. During deployments, Ned relies on his wife, Melissa, to handle the household at Camp Lejeune, North Carolina. With two kids and one on the way, he feels her job is just as important. It's almost unbelievable what she's capable of doing. I feel like she genuinely could handle anything. There's, you know, a sense of national pride that comes with being married to somebody who chooses to make that sacrifice. Not long ago, Melissa started taking online courses to finish medical training for her midwife license. She looked forward to landing a job and contributing to the family's income, but until then, paying bills and tuition on Ned's single salary was tough. On top of that, the couple had to open a credit card to pay for moving expenses the military didn't cover when they transferred to Camp Lejeune. We realized that we were using credit cards to pay for things like groceries because we just weren't getting by. Panic really kind of sets in the huge picture of everything that seems to be falling apart all at once. Even after Ned took on a second job delivering pizza, the couple couldn't get ahead. They prayed that God would get them through the financial crisis. Somewhere along the way, something is coming that's going to get us out of this, that God isn't finished and isn't just standing around waiting for us to wallow into self-pity. Their church contacted CBN and asked for help. I was just so thankful that Helping the Home Front is willing to be an agent for God in expressing His kindness and His generosity. Calvary Chapel's pastor Greg Schmidt told the couple CBN was reimbursing them for the move and paying off a portion of Melissa's tuition. <laughs> I don't even, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I was say that. Um, I guess to start there. Pastor Greg had one more surprise. And we have a financial mentor to help you get yeah. all of these things straight. <laughs> oh my. What do you say to that? I, I, I guess you could say God is good. Yeah, really, really good. Ned and Melissa met with a financial advisor and mapped out a plan to get them through until Melissa gets her degree. They got their family budget on target just in time to greet the arrival of their new son. I can't even harness all the thoughts that are going through my head right now. I feel like the biggest burden has been lifted. Helping the home front, that's one of CBN's outreaches. You know, until we started doing that, I had no idea some of the expenses that these families incur that aren't covered by the military. And we can say thank you for your service, but this is a great opportunity to, in a very practical way, say thank you for your service. Be a part of that. It's what you do when you join the 700 Club. We've got so many outreaches around the world. You don't want to miss being the answer to so many people's need in a very practical and inspiring and hopeful way. So you call now, join the 700 Club at whatever level you decide you'd like to join at. And when you do it, would you do it using Pledge Express? That's electronic monthly giving. It means uh, the bank does all the work, but it allows us to take even more of your gift and put it right into the lives of families like Ned and Melissa. So call now, 1-800-700-7000. When you use Pledge Express, we're going to send you a Power for Life teaching every month as our way of saying thank you. Gordon? All right, we're hearing from Fort Bragg, North Carolina. Well, there you go. Here's a thousand club member going to founder five thousand dollars and then from arcadia florida one time gift from a founder five thousand dollars and then from sandy oregon uh founder saying i want to increase i'm um, uh, a 2500 club member increasing five thousand dollars founder all of that goes into this red number, which is down to 98000 on a $274,000 challenge. 13 minutes, 28 seconds. Call us now, 1-800-700-7000. Well, Dulce was bullied at school, and not just from her fellow classmates. Her teacher was involved as well. And that's because Dulce was born with a crossed eye, and her parents couldn't do anything to fix it. Nine-year-old Dulce left school last year for two reasons. First, her crossed eyes made it difficult to focus and learn. Second, the kids and even her teacher bullied her. 
like the time she told all of the children except Dulce to come dressed for the class photo the next day. They, her teacher told Dulce to stay home. She told me the school year was over, but it wasn't. So we felt like we had to take her out of that school. Dulce was born with strabismus, and as she grew, her condition got worse. I remember that one day she grabbed a mirror. Then she said, Mom, I am ugly. Dulce broke down and cried as she remembered looking in the mirror that day. It broke my heart and I said, God, why is this happening to her? Then she said, Dad, will you have money to fix my eyes this year? That made me feel worse because I knew I could never afford that. When Operation Blessing learned about Dulce's condition, we arranged for her to receive free surgery to repair the muscles in her eyes. Two months later, we went to visit her, and Dulce's eyes were improving nicely. Watching her now getting dressed for pictures and even looking at herself in the mirror makes us so excited and happy. Dulce recently started attending a new school and is doing things she could never do before, like ride her bike. I cry grateful tears as I think about what Operation Blessing has done. Gracias. Imagine being able to say, I changed a life. Well, you're, you can imagine that if you're a 700 Club member because you're part of that. Life-changing surgery to take care. Uh, uh, for us, it's a simple eye surgery. Uh, in, in America, uh, you don't see people with cleft lips. You don't see people with strabismus. You don't see any of these kinds of situations because they're all taken care of within the first year, within the first few months. And uh, we just don't see it. But around the world, you see it. And what a wonderful privilege it is to say, we can go to them. We can change that, that, that for them. We can give them the things that they need. They can't afford to do it on their own, but we can give them that hand up to say, yes, there's a hope and a future for you. We love you. God loves you. You can be a part of all of that when you join the 700 Club. So call us, one 800 700, 7,000, say, yes, I want to be a member. And some of you can call and say, I'll join at a higher level. We've got 700 Club Gold for you at $40 a month. 1,000 Club is $1,000 a year, and that breaks out to $84 a month. We also have 2,500 Club, which is 2,500 a year. Founder, you've heard me talk about that. Founder is $5,000 or more a year, and then Chairman Circle. 10,000 or more a year. At whatever level, now's the time to do it. We've got nine minutes, 51 seconds, with 81,000 is the red number on a $274,000 challenge. Call us now, 1-800-700-7000. Let's go to Wendy at the phones. Wendy? Hey, Gordon. Well, the late Miles Monroe said, prayer is our invitation to God to intervene in the affairs of this world. The fact is, praying is the most important thing we can do as believers, and it's the most powerful tool at our disposal. You'll see why in the new DVD, Answered Prayer. Prayer is a communication with God. He speaks to us and gives us help and direction. It's a powerful exchange between God and man. God is the source of wisdom. He knows everything. He knows the end from the beginning. He's the author of everything. And it is amazing how God will open up wisdom to you. Prayer changes everything. It truly is the most powerful tool that God has given us to see change and even miracles. Well, let me ask you, if you need to see miracles, if you need to see change in 2018, then you need to get this answered prayer how to pray and how to get answers. This is Pat's new teaching and it's also our gift to you when you call right now and say, yes, I wanna join the 700 Club. How much is it? 65 cents a day, $20 a month is all it takes to become a CBM partner and to help so many people all over the world, not only with humanitarian aid and clean water and food and surgeries, but spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ. And it's such a great feeling to know that your money is going to do that. A lot of you are already doing
doing that. And I just want to say thank you because you are making a huge difference and a huge impact for the kingdom of God. But if you'd like to make a bigger impact in 2018, go to your phones right now and just say, I want to increase. I want to take it up to the gold level. That's just $40 a month. And when you do that, we want to bless you back with three of Pastor Teaching, one for you and two to give away. If you can go higher, we have many levels here. Our Thousand Club level is $84 a month. We're going to give you five of Pat's new teaching called Answered Prayer, one for you and four to give away. We're in the middle of a $274,000 challenge with seven minutes left on the clock, and I'm going to throw it over to Terry. Well, Anna tried to protect her family only to see her son wind up in the ICU. He needed emergency care, and she couldn't afford it. But Anna didn't need to spend a dime because a team from CBN was there to help. 29-year-old Anna just wants a safe place to raise her children. She left an abusive husband, then fled the war in Ukraine. But now Anna's children face another danger. The conditions in our home are very bad. We have no stove to cook. We have nowhere to wash our clothes. I bring water from outside and heat it with boilers to cook or wash. I am always afraid of the danger to my children from the boilers. One day, Anna went to get water from the well and asked her eldest son to watch his brother. It only took a few seconds and an inquisitive toddler to create a disaster. My elder son ran out and cried, Ma, come fast, David got burned by the hot water. David was rushed to the nearest hospital with life-threatening burns. I cried and cried and I worried. I just wanted my child to be all right but I knew I had no money to pay for this medical treatment. But the very day that David arrived, CBN staff members were there to deliver supplies. They heard about his accident and agreed to pay the full cost of his medical care. David was rushed into surgery and received state-of-the-art burn treatment, including artificial skin that hastens recovery. Within several weeks, David was back home and was as playful as ever. He's a fine and healthy boy now. I want to say thank you for helping my son get well. To ensure that Anna's home will be safe for the future, we gave her a brand new stove for cooking and a washing machine. Many, many thanks for the electric stove and the washing machine. Because of your gifts, my home is finally safe. I have no more worries. Thank you. I hope you're impressed with how many opportunities you have to make a difference when you join the 700 Club. It happens all around the world every single day, and you can do it right from the comfort of your own home by going to your phone right now and calling our toll-free number 1-800-700-7000 saying, I want to join the 700 Club. Tell us what club level, and then would you do it using Pledge Express so we can put even more of the gift you're giving right into the lives of people in need. You'll get one of these every month, the teaching just for you. We think they'll help you, and you'll be helping others. Gordon. All right, we're taking the red number down. Waynesburg, Ohio, 2,500 club member doubling to founder plus six thousand dollars. And then Hayward, Wisconsin, a thousand club member going to Chairman Circle, ten thousand dollars. That takes us down to thirty-four thousand. We want to go way over the top. Four minutes and twenty-four seconds. Be a part of it. Be a part of it now. Call us, 1-800-700-7000. Well, Cheryl used to dread going to school. Now she's class captain. So what changed? Cheryl says it's because she got a lesson in self-confidence that came from watching Superbook. At an age when most kids love playing with their friends, Cheryl was always by herself. The friends stood out the door. When other kids bullied me, it hurt my feelings. Don't give me the friends. No one played with me, so I stayed away from everyone. The constant bullying made her lonely and sad. She didn't talk to her parents about it, but she did ask for something to be done at school. I told my teacher to separate my desk from the others, so I could sit by myself in the classroom. Cheryl found some escape watching cartoons. One day while surfing channels, she came across CBN Superbook. When I first watched Superbook, I saw the story of Daniel. He was not afraid to be in the lion's den. He trusted God. 
and God protected him. My favorite story is the story of David and Goliath. David was not afraid of anything and he defeated the giant Goliath. Every week she learned something new about God. Soon she noticed some changes in her attitude. I am not afraid to talk to my classmates or anyone anymore. I am even the class captain. Superbook changed how I feel about myself. When we went to visit Cheryl and her parents at home, she was thrilled to get some Superbook surprises. And your very own gizmo. And A brand new Superbook curriculum has been introduced in her church. She loves to participate every time the Superbook Club meets. Thousands of kids in India are going through the Superbook curriculum at youth centers like this one. And the show's being broadcast nationwide with a viewership in the millions. Superbook is changing children's lives. I would like to thank the makers of Superbook. I have learned to believe in God and trust Him and to have confidence in myself. Wonderful things happen when the children of the world get the stories of the Bible. We're in 43 different languages now with Superbook, and you're a part of each language when you're a member of the 700 Club. Be a part of it. Be a part of everything we're doing. 1-800-700-7000. Say yes, I want to join. The red number's at 18,000. We're taking it down. Chanahan, Illinois, 2,500 Club member, doubling to founder. $5,000. That's Takes us down to 11 with a minute and 20 seconds on that clock. Call us now, 1-800-700-7000. Let's go to Wendy at the phones. Wendy? When Pat started CBN, he had just a few dollars to his name. Since then, this organization has grown to become an international ministry, all because of prayer. And in this latest DVD, Pat reveals what he asked God for when he prays. One of the things that people talk about a lot is they pray for wisdom. Jesus has all the treasures of wisdom, of wisdom in, in him. That's so, right. I mean, how do I acquire that? What have, you, what have you learned about wisdom? I prayed for wisdom, and I prayed for favor, and I prayed for the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. But I asked for wisdom, and it is amazing how God will open up wisdom to you. And you just, it's almost like, you know, second nature. You, you know what is the right course to follow in certain situations because God's giving you wisdom. Get this DVD. The principles that my father lays down are all from 55 years in ministry. You can have them. It's yours when you join. 1-800-700-7000. We're down to the final seconds. Prescott, Arizona, founder saying you can count on me, $5,400. And then you got one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, here's one from me. Longmont, Colorado, a chairman circle person saying, I'm going up further, $19,800. Thank you. Well, we had a $274,000 challenge against that. You gave yes. two ninety-seven. dollars no eye is seen, no ear is heard, no mind is imagined what God has prepared for those who love Him.